So Lynn, very, very well played. What happened out there in the last four holes? You just went birdie, 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 birdie? Yeah, I, I don't know. I felt like I was playing good all day and um, had a lot of putts inside four, three, four meters that I didn't get, it in. Ah, didn't get in. Um, but so I just felt like I, I owed them, like they were mine. So I just went for them, I guess. And they certainly dropped. I mean, you had an unusual build up to this tournament. I know you arrived late, no practice round, but it's fair to say it didn't really seem to do your golf any harm. So how did you prepare without having a practice round? Uh, well, I sent my brother and my boyfriend down to walk the course and have a look at it. Um, I think they did a good job. They had pictures and videos and, um, yeah, just notes. Um, but I think I um, felt a bit more free to be more aggressive, not knowing where all the problems were, sort of. That's interesting. I was going to ask you because you have all this prep. You've sent people out there. But then I guess golf's a lot about the touch and feel and confidence at the moment. So how much out there was the preparation from your brother and your boyfriend and how much was it just from you feeling it? No, I think there's a lot of holes where you don't see the fairways, like blind shots, so I had to really um, be confident with what Pontus was saying um, and I think all the holes were good except for one <laughs> where I made a bogey. <laughs> no, just kidding, but um, no, it was good and, and sometimes it's just nice knowing that that's the line that I'm taking and that's the only thing I know of. Um, Maybe it's a new strategy, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, great start. Thank you.